Welcome back to the Algebra Lecture Series. Today we will prove Fundamental Theorem of Homomorphism. Before that, let us prove a supporting theorem. We know that if G is a group and phi from G to G dash is a homomorphism with kernel of phi equal to H, which is a subgroup of G, which is actually a normal subgroup of G, then this homomorphism gives rise to a factor group G over H. We have discussed this matter in our last videos. Now we are going to show that if G is a group and H is a normal subgroup of G, we can consider the factor group G over H and there exists a homomorphism gamma from G to G over H such that kernel of this gamma equal to H. So statement of the theorem is let H be a normal subgroup of G then gamma from G to G over H given by gamma of X equal to XH is a homomorphism with kernel H. To show that gamma is a homomorphism, we will take two elements X and Y belong to the group G and we will consider gamma of XY. We will show that that is equal to gamma X into gamma Y. Gamma of XY equal to by definition gamma of X equal to XH therefore gamma of XY equal to XYH. And this is actually equal to xh into yh because we are doing the multiplication of cosets in this way. And this is equal to gamma of x into gamma of y. Therefore, gamma from g to g over h is a homomorphism. Now, we are sure that this homomorphism has kernel h. Now, x belongs to kernel of gamma if and only if gamma of x equal to identity element in g over h. And what is the identity element in g over h? It is actually equal to h. Therefore, x belongs to kernel of gamma if and only if gamma of x equal to h. If and only if gamma of x is defined as xh, therefore xh equal to h. If and only if x belongs to h. xh means that it is the coset containing the element x. That is equal to h means that x itself belongs to h. So, we can conclude that x belongs to kernel of gamma if and only if x belongs to h. In other words, kernel of gamma equal to h. This theorem may be helpful for us to prove the fundamental theorem of homomorphism. Fundamental theorem of homomorphism. Let phi from g to g dash be a group homomorphism with kernel h. Then phi of g is a group and mu from g over h to phi of g given by mu of g h equal to phi of g is an isomorphism. If gamma from g to g over h is the homomorphism given by gamma of g equal to gh then phi of g equal to mu gamma of g for each g belong to capital G. Actually this theorem contains two results which we have already proved. In algebra class 42 we proved the first part of this theorem that is given a homomorphism phi from g to g dash with kernel h then phi of g is a group and mu from g over h to phi of g given by mu of g h equal to phi of g is an isomorphism that we have already proved. And in the last theorem we showed that gamma from g to g over h is a homomorphism where gamma is given by gamma of g equal to g h. Thus we have a homomorphism phi from g to phi of g and another homomorphism gamma from g to g over h where gamma of g equal to gh and we have an isomorphism mu from g over h to phi of g given by mu of small gh an element in g over h equal to phi of small g. Actually this theorem gives a relation connecting these two homomorphisms and the isomorphism mu. The relation is phi equal to mu gamma. Actually here the domain of phi is g for mu gamma also the domain is g and we are going from g to g over h to phi of g. We can see that by the definitions of phi mu and gamma phi equal to mu gamma. Since phi of g equal to by definition it is mu of gh and gh is gamma of g. Therefore we have phi of g equal to mu gamma of g for all g belong to capital G. Thus by fundamental homomorphism theorem if phi is a homomorphism from g to g dash with kernel h then the factor group g over h is isomorphic to phi of g. 
So this result may be helpful while solving problems. For example, let us show that the factor group Z4 cross Z2 over Z0 cross Z2 is isomorphic to Z4. First of all, we have to define a homomorphism phi from Z4 cross Z2 to Z4 having the kernel Z0 cross Z2. So suppose we are defining phi in this way, phi of x, y equal to x where x belongs to Z4 and y belongs to Z2. Then this coordinate x, y belongs to Z4 cross Z2. So suppose this is our homomorphism. Clearly it is an homomorphism you can check. And what will be the kernel of this homomorphism? You may see that if we take the first coordinate as 0 and the second coordinate as any element in Z2, the answer becomes 0 which is the identity element in Z4. So kernel of this homomorphism contains elements of the form 0, y where y belong to Z2. So we can write kernel of phi equal to Z0 cross Z2. Therefore here phi is a homomorphism from Z4 cross Z2 to Z4 with kernel Z0 cross Z2. Therefore by fundamental homomorphism theorem Z4 cross Z2 over Z0 cross Z2 is isomorphic to phi of Z4 cross Z2. And what is phi of Z4 cross Z2? Clearly that is equal to Z4. Therefore we can conclude that Z4 cross Z2 over Z0 cross Z2 is, is isomorphic to Z4. In the next class we will see the use of fundamental homomorphisms theorem in counting the number of homomorphisms between some finite groups.